It's operations time once again on the Willow Creek Railroad. And the light at the end of the tunnel is indeed an oncoming train, having just departed from Spokane Staging Yard, the subject of this video. Having the capability to get cars and trains off of and onto a layout adds significantly to operations. In effect, it expands the number of customers that our railroad services. As originally designed, the Willow Creek has a car float at Bucky's Crossing to shuffle cars off of and onto the layout. Because of the time and labor it takes to cycle the car ferry, we typically only have two arrivals and two departures during an operating session with six cars on each trip. This means we have the ability to move 24 cars during a session. When the Willow Creek was first constructed, I didn't realize the importance of a staging yard. After extensive experience operating on various layouts, I finally realized that a staging yard was needed. Fortunately, I had space in an adjacent workroom to accommodate the four-track Spokane Staging Yard. The Staging Yard is not an operating position by itself, but rather enables operators to move additional trains and cars onto and off of the layout. In fact, the relatively small four-track Spokane Staging Yard enables us to operate an additional eight trains, moving as many as 48 cars during an operating session. That adds a lot of activity to a session. The Spokane Staging Yard is hidden, meaning operators cannot see trains in the yard during a session. So we've designed a comprehensive set of controls for the yard. Let's see how the yard operates. Travis is assisting me again today. The dispatcher has assigned him to run a train from Spokane to Waverly. He checks his train orders and his engine card, and then checks the instructions to see how fast to run his engine, since he can't actually see his locomotive. He selects the yard track for his train and then moves his train from the staging yard. The yard tracks are on the right of the control panel diagram and Travis's train is moving to the left towards the tunnel at Spokane Junction. The red LEDs on the panel show that the train is at the end of the yard track. The yellow LEDs indicate the location of his train as he departs the staging yard. It takes 20 to 30 seconds for Travis's train to move from the yard to the layout but it finally emerges at Spokane Junction. Let's take a quick look at what the controls do. When Travis selects his desired yard track, the tortoise switch machines controlling the three turnouts in the hidden staging yard are activated and set to the desired track. The logic to set these turnouts is controlled by a diode matrix activated by the route selection knob that Travis turned. The route selection control also turns on power to the track that Travis selected. He then starts up his engine, turns on the headlight, and starts to move out of the yard. There are 12 infrared sensors located along the access track and throughout the yard to report the location of each train. Along the access track, the sensors are located on each side of the track. In the yard, the sensors are embedded in the roadbed. The logic for the sensors and LEDs is provided by two AZATRACKS modules. When an operator's train orders instruct him to run a train into the Spokane staging yard, the operating process is similar to that of a departing train. The operator aligns the turnout at Spokane Junction so that his train enters the yard access track, and then he selects the destination yard track. The LEDs on the control panel again tell the operator where his train is located. For a train entering the yard, the operator simply runs his train at speed until the end of track sensor is triggered and the red LED lights. Here's what it looks like in the staging yard. The arriving train passes each of the sensors along the access track and then triggers the sensor at the start of the selected yard track. The operator runs his train to the end of the track. The last section of each yard track is unpowered, so the engine automatically stops. It also passes over the end of track sensor, which lights the red LED on the control panel.
And that's all there is to the Spokane Staging Yard. A simple four-track yard contributes lots of activity to an operating session. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, and thanks again for visiting the Willow Creek Railroad.